Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video for Go Technology Hub 2 and this is episode 2 or 3 and it's about getting preservation set up um, and as you'll likely know preservation is uh, about doing uh, maintenance uh, on unused equipment so equipment that's in storage or has been mothballed um, so in this video I'll just give you a quick run through of how you can manage that uh, within Go Technology Hub 2. So the first thing you're going to want to do we're in this uh, empty project which I oh, vaguely empty project which I use for the tutorial video so if you've seen any of the previous ones you'll have seen me go through the process again uh, all these different elements set up and the first thing we're going to want to do now is to set up uh, our preservation work lists so preservation work lists are just like uh, check sheets they are the, um, the the check sheets for ITRs so that's the actual items of certification that you are going to complete to say you have done your preservation okay so I'll show you adding one on screen uh, first, and then we will go and we will also um, we'll also import some to show you uh, how you can do it much more quickly. So the name of it, we tend to use uh, the discipline name and then a number and then P at the end to, to show that it's preservation, um, but you can use uh, whatever you want to. Uh, so the discipline uh, is A, uh, I could have just typed it in. And you can just type in, um, we'll just type in uh, a placeholder description now, and then we can see when we've imported it, what will have changed. So, uh, preservation. I'm going to leave the man hours blank. Yeah, it's not a required field, um, so you can just leave it empty. And we're going to keep it as digital documents. So, digital documents, again, if you go back and watch episode 201, You'll be able to see there um, how we set up digital documents and what they're used for, but basically it allows us to complete all the tasks on screen or to do them with our mobile app, which I'll also show you because you can do that for preservation too. So we go save and view. And there we go. The sign offs are set up uh, as default in the default sign offs, and that's something that you'll be able to see as well in uh, the 100 series of videos. Um, we don't have a document there yet, and um, I will get that set up. Uh, in a second. I probably won't show it because like I said if you go and watch episode 201 you can see that uh, and it'll be quicker if I if I don't. So we'll just go ahead and we'll import now. So we want to import preservation work lists and yeah, we could do a simulate. I'm gonna go straight to a full. I would recommend people do a simulate first. Simulate is of course where it uh, runs the import but doesn't actually put the changes in place. It just gives you results. Um, I know for a fact that this well, I say confidently. I know for a fact that this import is uh, is going to work, so we're okay. So that's been added to the queue now. And there we go. So you can see we've got 59 added and one updated. So if we click on that uh, to view the results, and we can just download the results file. So that uh, import file that I uploaded was one that I had prepared earlier. So uh, it just uses the uh, wood commissioning uh, official list of preservation work lists. So we'll just pull this across here. You can see uh, the 59 that have been added are all these ones here. And then the updated one, uh, you can just see that it's changed it by going into the old values. We can see that I called it architectural preservation and the actual one is room office. Um, so the import template, I'll just quickly show you the import template. It's very much the same as, as this. There you go. So you can see that's what it, it, it looks like on the import template. And again, orange is the uh, identifying field. So that's the unique, it has to be a unique value. You can't have two AO1Ps, just overwrite it. And then blue is required field. And obviously the discipline uh, needs to be populated in advance. So you need, your, you need those values in the discipline table. If you didn't have them, it would say that discipline doesn't exist. So if I we're typing in something random, uh, you know, like it's it's just going to say that doesn't work. So anyway, we've got those uh, imported in now, um, and that means that we I've actually gone ahead and have set up uh, the digital documents for uh, the one I'm going to use already. Um, if you want to see more about how to set up digital documents, uh, you can see uh, episode 201. And um, so what we'll do is we'll actually assign some. Now I should say as well. You can actually set up your equipment type to preservation work list matrix to work the same way as the equipment type to ITRs do, does. Uh, and that's episode 202, if you want to see about how to do that. But for this, the purpose of this, I will just set up um, one manually. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into preservation and we're going to go to tag PWLs. 
and we are going to add one because there isn't one in there at the moment. And again, you could do this through the imports as well. Um, so we will go and we'll choose uh, this tag item here, and we're going to choose an IO5, IO5, IO5P. And what we want to do is we want to say when is the due date and when is the end date, uh, if there, there is one. So for the due date, we are going to say that it is today. And for frequency, so frequency is how often do you want this preservation task, this preservation work list to be done. Um, so if we want it to be done weekly, we would say, um, you know, seven. If we want it to be done, um, you know, roughly every month, we'd say 28 uh, or 14. For, you know, you can tell. Let's just say it's every five days. And we will go ahead and we will just, uh, we'll save and view that one. And there we go. We've got our uh, first preservation uh, work list uh, set up. So that means that now, if we go into uh, the skyline, and we change that down to tag PWLs, we can see here that because uh, we know that it's uh, going to be done every five days, it's actually gone ahead and, 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 and put a few of those uh, in place. So it's on the next kind of month's worth of these. Uh, so it's already kind of mapped that out for us. So if we were to go in and we were to create uh, some more preservation, uh, so let's do that. I'm going to type PWLs here. And actually could have done that an easier way. Let me go back because sometimes people don't even realize that this is a thing. They, don't, they kind of miss this button. But when you're in a tag PWL, um, you can actually just, or anything in fact, you can just go new tag PWL as well. Um, you can search and you can go new. So we'll just go new there. And what we'll do is we'll choose a different tag item. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, we'll just go with this one. Um, and then we'll say that we want to do oops, zero one. So we'll just go with that. And what we'll say for this one is we want to do it a different amount. So we'll just say like 14. Um, and we'll say the first due date for that is on the 30th. And what we'll say is, yeah, we'll just leave it like that, I think. We'll just leave it like that. And we'll go save and view that. So now we've got another one. This one doesn't have a digital document, so um, I haven't set that up. I only set it up for the uh, IO5P. But now when we uh, refresh, yeah, whoops, I'm just going to tag PWL. Uh, you can see now that we've got this kind of situation where we've got IO5 and the, the IO1, uh, and then there's a point where they both happen to be on the same day. It will just go on until uh, infinity unless we put uh, an end date in there so let's say for the io1p we want preservation to end on uh, the 15th let's go back and change that so for, for whatever reason this this piece of equipment it's going to be uh, in use or, or moved on um, after after that happens so if we just go back we just do search now you'll see there's actually only two here. However, on Skyline, there looks like there's loads of them, right? Because this is the kind of look ahead, which you also can access through uh, preservation and look ahead. So there's only actually two in here because these are the kind of current ones. These, these ones haven't been signed off yet. So you're effectively looking at it from this perspective. You're looking at it as what is the job that I'm going to have to do, you know, which I'm going to have to do repeatedly every five or every 14 days. But you're not actually looking at the individual kind of times you're gonna to have to do that. You would see that through the, uh, through the look ahead. Um, and if we go into the look ahead, uh, you see here is where you can start to see, okay, well, that's, that's the number of times that I have to do it. This is just the actual kind of work list, not with, you know, um, split out by the number of times. So anyway, we'll go in here and we'll, um, We'll just edit this and we'll put an end date in there because we don't have that moment. So I think we said we were going to be the 15th of May. So just before I save that, I'll just show you again. So that's what the skyline looks like now. Um, so we can see this is the IO5 piece. We've got another one on the 18th and another one on the 28th there. And if we go back and we just save that. So that, but now we know that from 15th, we're not going to need to do it anymore. I'll just refresh that, go back into VWLs. And you can see there, that's changed that now because after the 15th, we've only got the 1Ps, the IO1P. 
And if we uh, extend that further out, um, so we say like that, um, then again, you know, you'll, you'll see it go further and further. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we do there. So what we'll do now is we'll actually go and we'll complete uh, one of these and we'll do that on the mobile device. But before I do that, I'm going to have to, um, one thing I forgot to do is we're going to have to go in and, check and add the preservation completion statuses just to say this is, um, this is the, the options that you can have when you complete it. So we will go with complete, complete it successfully. This is the kind of thing you'd only do at the, really, at the, at the very start of a project. Um, so we'll say that's the default one. So by default, when people sign it off, it will go to complete, which is good. That's what we want. And then we'll add one more and we'll call that one incomplete. And for that one, we'll say, uh, oh. successfully, please. And we'll put, that's not the default because the default is complete and we'll put requires reason. The reason why you might have this happen is perhaps, and this happened in real life, um, on a project was that if there's like bad weather for some reason, um, this was a, a very remote site, they couldn't actually get to where the equipment was stored. So they had to um, miss some of the, the preservation. Um, so for, if there's any reason why it couldn't be done, you still want to record that. You want to say, you don't want it just to be like, well, what happened? You record that it didn't happen. So save and be. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll go to uh, this one here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to assign that. We're going to assign that one to me. I'll just choose myself there. So obviously you need to have this authorized person uh, set up uh, before you can um, assign to them. Uh, so if we go and we have a look in authorized persons there, you'll be able to see that um, I am in here and I have um, the ability to sign off everything. And I've got the my profession is set up to have all disciplines in it. And so that's the profession. It's got everything in it. So if we just go ahead and we just go assign. So that's been assigned to me now. And if we just pull across, so this is just a screen mirror of my uh, my mobile uh, device, my phone. Um, so we're going to complete this paperlessly. So I'm in the right project now. And if I just click on download all, oh, wait one second, I must not have assigned that properly. I know, I know what it is. It defaults to tag ITR view. Uh, we probably want to add like a little thing up there to say my documents ITRs rather than just my documents. Um, but hey, this is why we do it live. So there we go. We can see that's the one. Um, uh, that's uh, the one that we want. I think it is good to do it live because, you know, if you come across stuff that you don't know, uh, or that you've seen me not know and I show how to solve it, hopefully that's good. But yeah. So we get download all, and we get the little download progress there. Uh, to say that it's uh, it's going, and uh, there we go. So if we just go in, so we can go through, and we can just uh, finish some of these off. Okay, okay. We'll put NA for some of them as well. Just to and we've completed by is Josh, and the date is done. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to be the person who accepts it as well, because I'm the only authorized person that is set up. So that is that done there. And then if we just go back, let me upload. And that is it uploaded as well. And so now when we go in here, we'll just uh, refresh this. And we can see all the tasks have been done, it's been completed and it's been accepted. And if we have a look in the skyline, oops, switch from handover to tag PWL. And there you go, you can see it's been done. And the one last thing to show you, if we then go into uh, search the uh, tag PWLs, you'll notice then that uh, the next one in the sequence will come. So that shows this one's been done. So this is the next one that's due. And if we go into this record uh, here, 
you uh, will see related ones as well. So it will save us a related one. Uh, and that's pretty much it um, in terms of uh, in terms of preservation. I suppose there's one other thing to show you, which is the, the plan versus actual. You can set up other reports as well, um, but just for this kind of brief fly through. You can see here, this is what should be uh, should be getting done. And that's what has been getting done. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, you can see um, that's, uh, that's about all this show. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.